Hey everyone, let's do some makeup. So I wanted to get done up a bit today. I moisturized my skin and I am gonna try this again cause I wasn't really keeping track on my foundation but my eyeshadow lasted really well. I wouldn't recommend this with the soap. I didn't really like it. I just, I don't know if it's the soap, uh, the Be Perfect soap for my brows but yeah I don't know so anyways I'm just gonna focus this on my skin and I am going to use that sample again sorry the multi one on my eyes again so I'm gonna do like a halo khaki green gold look so using my Charlotte Tilbury foundation in the shade 5.5 because this just gives me a nice bronze finish I also went to look this up to see if it was animal cruelty free and it didn't say whether it was or not so that's really annoying so I'm just going to presume that it's not cruelty free because why would they not have it at the back of them. I'm going to go in with my Shishido in Golden 4. It's going to give me a nice glow and I'm going to use this very sparingly so I just did half a pump there. So I want my foundation to be quite light and sheer. Starting from the center. Oh, I did see there was a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury in a cheaper form. Um, for this, it's in the Maybelline, but I also checked Maybelline and it is not cruelty free. So, I mean, for me, that's not, it's not the price, it's more the product. So anyways, um, Make sure to get a bit of your neck so that it's not like a mask. So once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go in with my concealer now because I'm actually still a bit dark. And then I like to go and do my concealer where it needs to be done. I like doing it this technique because I feel like I'm using less product as well when I don't colour my whole face in like, you know, like smear it like that. So that's why I do these little, little strokes and I always go around here my nose will be red from you know like broken capillaries or anything like that and then my chin just to give it a little face so as you can see it's just going to highlight the centre of my face. Sometimes I do this for like a reverse contour as well. I do like to cover my lid if I know I'm going to be doing a good eye. When I'm doing a natural I I don't mind just barely putting that on. I'm just using this. It's a double ended. It's it's from Tarte, and it has like synthetic hair at the this side, so that it's not going to soak up. It's not going to soak up all my product. So think about from the corner of your eye up. See the way it's giving me that like snatched vibe. Making sure to go up now. Everything up, see like that, and then this down, and under my eye. Do you see that? So this is what we're aiming for, and then when I'll show you how to set that so it doesn't move. Okay, so normally when I have clients. I let that set because I always do the eyes first then I do the face but then once I have the base done I always go on the brows. I don't set it because it's like the skincare again. I like to let the foundation settle into the skin before I put powder on top because if not where the foundation isn't dry the powder is just going to stick and it's going to give you that blotchy finish. Okay. How I keep everything in place I just get my brush and I bounce it on the skin and that way it doesn't move what I've laid down. Press, press, press. This step is quite important because if you go in and get a fluffy brush, you can just ruin everything you just did. So yeah, that's how I like to keep everything in place. Contour. So you can see the two-tone there. And I told you I love to do this, so I'm definitely going to do this in this step because where I'm going to be focusing my eyeshadows is going to be blended nicely. So I'm just going to do this part first instead of doing my nose last. 
and then this is the tip of my nose and a generous amount on my forehead as usual keeping this nice and bright peach fluffy brush up into contour nothing new here I'm going quite high Fix Plus makes everything settle into the skin, look less powdery, make your foundation last. And the main point of me doing that is I'm going to use my Becky Cosmetics highlighter in Opal. And I'm going to go over what I just had. Ooh, with what I just sprayed there. And it's just going to make that pop. I like to go on the kind of brow bone as well, just to melt everything in. Because I'm going to use a gold in the centre of my eye. This is just going to tie everything together. And it's going to look so... I'm going to harmonise this whole look together. So I'm just going to get my SK07 Kaylee. And just go down the nose. Boop. It's just going to give me a little snatchy poo. My Stacey Marie. Definitely recommend getting a palette like this. You have seen it. This I am proof that you can use this palette for literally everything. So I'm gonna go in with this brush. It's kind of like a pencil brush, but not as dense. And this is in Zoeva 231. I'm gonna go in with the first shade and I'm gonna go in with clay because I'm doing quite an earthy tone. So clay. And what I'm gonna do is melt it into my nose contour. Do you see that? Focus that product there. This is gonna be quite top heavy eye makeup look so I'm not going to focus it too far down here okay so I'm building this just at the side I'm building this colour just at the side I'll just barely wing it out nothing too crazy I actually did a look like this on a client and I absolutely loved it so here I am recreating it on myself tap 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 Remember when we tap in the one area, we're building up the colour. When we buff the brush and swipe, we're spreading the colour, okay? And it's just going to be a light colouring. Whereas when we tap anything, foundation, concealer, eyeshadows, we're packing on that colour to get it as pigmented as we want. And uh, what I do to the top, I'm going to just slightly buff. And... This is what we're dealing with. So as you can see, the center here is still clear. And actually, I'm going to use my little new brush. Oh, so my Kit Co in the shape 120 or 120. Khaki. Gonna go into this khaki color. Tap. And then I'm really going to focus it in the inner and the outer corner of my eye. You want to still go up high enough, but not too high that you're losing the first colour. So I'm going to go in with the Maura Higgins X Inglot, and this is the darkest shade in this little palette. I'm going to use the same brush, and I'm really just going to focus it right at the tear duct here, and right at the corner of my eye. Really pressing that in. And it's just really going to go from dark, medium to light. Okay, can you see that? So this is what we're dealing with. I might go darker after, but I'll see. Because I don't want to be too crazy straight away. So I'm going to go and use this again. So it's that sample. Beauty. One pump. Well, half a pump because... A lot comes out and then I'm gonna go in with this right so this is oh, the only thing is it's after going it goes everywhere so this is the sample pigment but this one is in Sean Sean Maloney this is in Sean Maloney and it's basically a beautiful copper color so here I am getting a flat brush that I used the last time but this one's small 
and I'm basically going to wet my brush with the sample product okay. and focus this in the center of my eye and you can really go as high as you want with this Ooh. you could lay down a color underneath to make it really opaque but I actually really like the way this is going on clear what do you think? And I actually might get, oh, oh, good catch. So I actually might go and get that Inglot colour again, the dark shade, and with the same brush again. I might just kind of fill in here and here. So the inner corner and the outer corner like that. Okay, so I just did this eye and eyebrow. I'm going to go in with my Benefit in the shade Four, and this is the Goof Proof. I just love this eyebrow pencil. I've been using it now for years. It's the angled one. So I'm basically just lightly going over what I already have. Then I bring it to the tip of the bro or tip of the pencil and mimic a little hair strokes in the front to give it a more natural feathery finish. Does that make sense? Get my little spoolie and just brush my hair up. I'm going to get this eyeliner and it's by the Beauty Collection of Beauty Bay. And this one is in the shade Antiques. It's just like a brown eyeliner. Mascara. And I do the tiniest flick so it's not drooping down. And I coat my top a lash. Just applied my lips and some false lashes. And the lip combo that I used was both by Kylie Cosmetics. This one is in Exposed and this is Ice Latte. And when they go together and make a baby, this is what it looks like. <laughs> I'm only joking but this is like one of my favorite combos and this is a matte finish so it is most likely to last quite long so yeah this is the finished result and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did don't forget to give it a like and please subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below and i shall see you in the next video bye